Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. So if you're looking for items and accessories, parts for your vintage Vespa or newish vintage Vespa, this is my PX150 here, or you have a modern Vespa, we got you covered. Just want to go over the range of the vintage style mud flaps that we have. This is a classic accessory, it's kind of been with the Vespas for for eons, I don't know when they started, but I think the whole idea originally was to keep the dirt off the back of the scooter when you're going down a dirty road, but it kind of kind of was ubiquitous with the mod culture too to have a mud flap. So go over all the different mud flaps and then I'm gonna go over options on how you install this on a vintage Vespa. So MF01, that's our part number. It's a black and white classic a mud flap with the word Vespa in there. Go through these nice and quick. MFO3, blue and white with Vespa. MFO4, red and white with the stripes. MFO6, this is the Capini made in Italy. Black mud flap with the checkerboard and Vespa. MFO7, you got the, the British flag and the checkers. MFO8, Italian flag and checkers. MF10, red and black. And the last one, kind of the funniest one. Why would you want an L? Well, if you're in Great Britain, I think all of Great Britain has the learner plate, which is on uh, 125 or lower. Uh, usually you have a big L on the bike that kind of in indicates that it's a lower speed vehicle and you have a restricted license of some sort. So if you're looking for that style, MF11, we have you covered there. Uh, also check out our website, just type the word mud flap or MF. I think we'll bring up all the different mud flaps. We have different ones, but this is what I have in stock right now. Kind of went over. So what do I want to pick on my bike? Uh, I think the theme is all white and black. So get rid of the colored ones. Do I want checkers? Do I want stripes? Do I want a British flag? Do I want a little bit of color with the Italian flag? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick MF01, black and white. So you're probably asking, how would you mount this to the scooter? Well, the PX is kind of an in-betweener scooter because the tail of pretty much all Vespas with the exception of the, the Vespa PX, I'm talking classic Vespas, is steel. So it goes metal all the way down. The, the P200 starting in 1977, they start putting this plastic bumper per se. Um, if you have a vintage all steel body scooter like a Sprinter, Rally, Super, VBB, typically you'd have four holes to mount a plate, whether it's a larger European style plate that's more of a square or the American style plate. Um, and you have four mounting points. Well, the mounting points for the plates typically line right up. So if you didn't have the bumper in the way, you'd put them at the lower mounting points of the, the plate frame. Um, could do it up higher, can kind of show you how that would work. You could put it right underneath a license you know, frame if you wanted to. And right now I got, you know, insert nut inserts on my plate frame for this American size plate right here. But you pretty much put a pair of screws behind there, sandwich it between the, the plate. You could do it like that. It doesn't really work right on the, the PX though because you have the plastic bumper. So if you have a PX, uh, P200E, LML, which is like a Stella or something, the cool thing is it pretty much mounts right, right to here. You could tuck it up there and go inside. You could drill a pair of holes and mount that in there. One thing, you do have the freedom to trim this rubber you know, as needed. So this, what I think I'll do is I'll carefully drill two screws and I'll put a pair of holes kind of directly above these two stripes and that will be my mounting spots. So. so all you need is some basic, any old machine hardware to install this. So I got a pair of nuts, a pair of screws and fender washers. Fender washers are kind of nice so the mud flap doesn't tear being rubber. Uh, this is M6 fasteners right here with those about 20 millimeters long. You can use American hardware store stuff which would be like quarter inch, um, fasteners that's by an inch long or three quarter inch long uh, any of that stuff any of the kind of screws that you typically hold a license plate on 
will work perfect. So I'm gonna drill a pair of holes and you could just drill right through this. Don't drill through your fingers, but it's kind of like a vinyl material and it goes right through. You don't even need to make the hole that big because the screw will kind of push through. Um, I'm gonna start with one of them. You could, since I know I wanna have it just above that line there, you can just kind of hold it in place. Make sure it's all level and plumb. And there you go, I'm drilling my own bike. And we'll do the same on this side, make sure it's pretty centered. So put my two screws. So put the flat washer behind the mud flap. You know, like a fender washer as they call them. And same with this one, I'll just push the the screw right through the, the newly drilled hole. Again, like I said, the easiest way you can put one of these on is just sandwich it between between your your license plate. But on this PX, this kind of makes more sense mounting it to the bumper. There you go. So you go down a curb, it will fold right up, no problem. And that's how you put it on a PX. So, so I quickly made a decision of what mud flap I wanted red and black for this all dragon red ET4. So the obvious place to put one of these mud flaps on these scooters is right underneath the license plate frame. So you got the license plate frame, you can loosen it up. Got just the standard fasteners that hold it. Go ahead and have that loose and just slip it right underneath the lower, lower, uh, plate mounting points. So the slotted holes on these mud flaps lines right up. And just get it right through. And there you have it. And that's all it takes to install one of these mud flaps. About one of the easiest accessories short of the gas cap that I covered recently. That's probably the easiest accessory because I hope everybody knows how to take the gas cap off. Uh, this one requires some type of driver, you know, whatever's holding the, the fasteners of your license frame. And there you go. So you got a mud flap. You may come in uh, as a practical purpose. Maybe you're riding in inclined weather, like the rainy weather is gonna keep the back of the scooter a lot cleaner. Um, Maybe you're just going for the classic look or some fun little accessory that's pretty inexpensive. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, we have a couple of local customers that have mud flaps and it's kind of like lifting the skirt. You're like, oh boy, that tire is bald. This one's not, but one thing to keep in mind, you don't really see your tire. So kind of keep an eye on the, the tire tread. Don't just let the mud flap let you forget about it because a bald tire isn't going away. It's just gonna pop on you. <laughs> Um, just want to share that with everybody. Nice quick video. Until next time, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Check out all our other YouTube videos if you're new to the channel. We've got quite a few of them. How to's of doing service on your scooters, installing accessories, uh, vintage Vespa videos, and plenty of modern Vespa videos.